Hello everyone and welcome to Nutrition Simplified Podcast. I'm your host Ashley Hawkworth and we are going to take a little step back today and we're going to look at the start of nutrition or Nutrition 101. So you've no doubt heard the phrase you are what you eat and let me tell you you actually are. You are what you eat. Not only that, we are maintained by what we eat. What we eat gives us energy. And our bodies require at least 50 essential nutrients to function or to perform properly. Each of these nutrients has a very important and a very specific role to play in our bodies. Now, some nutrients can actually be made within the body if given other chemical building blocks that are required to make them. For example, we don't really need to consume non-essential amino acids because as the name suggests, they're non-essential and our bodies can produce and make them ourselves. But our bodies can only do that if we consume enough essential amino acids. You see, the essential amino acids are, as the name suggests, essential because our bodies can't produce them ourselves. So we need them from the diet. And they also help create and build the non-essential amino acids, just in case we haven't had enough of them either. There are six main nutrient groups that are essential for survival, and each diet should contain a balance of each of them. Protein, prioritize protein to help keep the lean tissue essential for a fat loss phase. Fats, including cholesterol, to help hormone production and more. Carbs, I'm going to include this. People say, oh, we don't need carbs for survival or we don't need, it's not essential. I'm going to include it because we do need fiber to aid digestion. And then the last three, we've got vitamins, minerals, and water. Now we have various healthy eating guidelines, such as the Eat Well Guide, But, do you know what's wrong with that? Do you know what the issue is there? I'm going to pause for a second for you to shout at the speaker. But do you know what's wrong or what the issue is for a general guideline for nutrition? The answer is, everyone is different. Everyone is unique. Everyone is individual. The proportion or the ratio of protein, carbs and fats is entirely unique to you. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for you and vice versa. I could do well on a high carb, you could do even better on a high fat, low carb. And this is what I do firstly when clients come to me. I first see what they are like diet wise, where they're going, where they've been. And with their goals in mind, I see what way is best for them to get them there. And of course, what ratio of macronutrients they need to get them there also. Now, science dictates as long as the calories are accounted for, as long as the protein is accounted for, then the ratio of carbs and fats doesn't really matter. And for the vast majority of you out there, this can hold true. And what I'm going to do to follow on from this podcast is to hold free consultations for you. Now, I'm going to hold these to get your caloric needs and to get the ratio of macronutrients for you. So if you would like that, don't hesitate to give me a little DM on any of my socials and I'll link them all in the show notes. So just a quick one, just a few minutes today and it was much needed, a little episode on Nutrition 101. Listen, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It really helps me out if you give me a Follow, subscribe, give me a five-star rating and a review on whatever channel you're listening to this on. And until next time, see you soon and take care.